Welcome back to another Personal Freedom Revolution Challenge. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm excited about today's topic, The Secret to Success. I mean, I've seen so many books out there offering The Secret to Success, programs, everything, and you've probably read quite a few of them. You've read them because you know that successful people must know something that you don't, and that's why they're successful. If you could just learn what it is, what that one thing is that these people know that you don't, then you could create unlimited success in your life too. Well today, I'm going to share with you the secret to success. The secret that every successful person has that you don't. And yesterday during the video, I had this on the table. And this, here, lies the secret to success. All successful people have this. This is fairy dust. And this is the secret to success. One pinch, boop success. Except fairy dust isn't very easy to get. In fact, it's hidden away in some deep cavern and underwater. It's like unbelievable. And very few people know how to get it. And very few people are given the fairy dust. So if you don't have any, there might be another way that you can create success. And that is doing the right work, making the right choices. That's the secret to success, the choices you make. Because you, as you are right now, are incredibly successful. That's right, you are already successful. Every single person out there is successful. You know, I give speeches and talks at drug clinics and homeless centers and everything. I, I work with all sorts of people. And I'll be there in a room filled with drug addicts. And I'll tell them, I'll look at the audience and I'll say, I am looking at the most successful people I've ever seen in my life. And they look at me like I'm nuts. And I tell them, no, no, really, you are the most successful people I have ever seen in my life. And I tell them, I say, look, you know, drug addicts, you're amazing. No job, no money. You find a way to get your drugs every day, no matter what. Nothing stops you. That's amazing. I mean, that is incredibly successful. It's just that they're choosing to be successful at the wrong thing. You see, everyone has a definition of success and they think of it as a positive outcome. To me, a definition of success is deciding on an outcome, any outcome, following through with behavior and achieving it. It doesn't have to be a positive one. So a drug addict is a successful drug addict. They are incredibly successful at the outcome they're trying to achieve. If you're overweight, you are successfully overweight. You didn't wake up one morning overweight. You had to decide not to exercise and you had to decide to eat poorly consistently. You had to keep working at it to achieve being overweight. If you're an alcoholic, you didn't take one drink and become an alcoholic. You had to continually keep drinking and drinking and drinking to reach the place where you're an alcoholic. Wherever you are, I want you to look at your life and realize that your life is a sum total of the choices you make to create the successes you have in your life, both good and bad. If you are financially broke, you have successfully not worked at creating wealth in your life or you spent too much money, whatever you're at in your life, I want you to look at every place you are in your life and consider them all successes of your behavior. You know, the fact of the matter is, all of us have positive successes also. We all do. What do we do with the positive successes? We are naturally flowing in that direction. We are willing to do the work. We're willing to be consistent at those things. If we would just mirror our behavior that is creating all the results in our life, but into different directions, the behavior you already have, the ability that you already have to be passionate about something, to follow through, to be consistent, to do it day after day, to create end results. If you were just that passionate with different choices, everything would become different in your life. You just have to learn that we were talking about it yesterday. You have to be attracted to that end result. You have to be pulled by yourself. You want to have to go in that direction. Nobody can train your brain. Nobody can help you make the right choices. Nobody can put that desire inside you. You have to find that desire. We're waking up in the morning and we're finding that we like ourselves more. Liking ourselves is a place where we can start to realize that we want to make different choices. If you don't like yourself, 
Why would you want to make different choices? Why wouldn't you just keep the status quo? Why wouldn't you keep both the unsuccessful and successful habits that you have now and keep going in those directions? So when we wake up in the morning and we say, I am really enjoying, I'm smiling, I really love my smile. You know, and it feels good, I'm feeling better about myself. If you are truly resolved to do your personal best, well then, as slow as you think this process is on day eight, you're already making better choices all the time. And then things are getting better. So don't be impatient. Don't be impatient. For once, get rooted and grounded in a foundation of thought patterns that are going to lead you to a behavior that where you're going to go forward doing positive choices to get positive results. Because you're already making choices all day long. You make choices from the second you wake up. The second you wake up, you decide, hit the snooze button or wake up. Should I wake up with a bad attitude or a good attitude? Should I go to the bathroom? Should I get a drink? Should I brush my teeth? Should I take a shower? Should I have breakfast? Should I turn on the TV? Should I read the paper? Everything is choices. Should I leave now for work or in 15 minutes when I know I'm going to be late? Come on. Everything you do is a product of the choices that you are making. So if you resolve to be your personal best, then you resolve to make better choices, and then you're going to get better end results. There's no secret to success. You are successful as you are in everything you have in your life. It might be the wrong results, but you're successful at getting those results. Change your choices, change the end results, don't worry about any secrets, and realize that gratitude is the fuel that's going to get you there. Gratitude is so, so important. It's building that foundation. So stay grateful. Be grateful each day. Enjoy your smile. Get resolved to do your personal best. And let's change not what we think how to be successful is. Let's change what we are successful at already to get better end results. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for listening.